I don't know, Mr. Katzenberg. Yeah, I'm tempted to bring my um, Spotify program to your uh, Quibi service, but I just don't think it's doing very well, and I think I'm better off making it on my own. Is a conversation I've had in my head that will never happen. It's Spot of Monday, the final Spot of Monday. What? Well, you see what we're doing, in case you've missed the other ones. We're going to take Spot of Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, and we're going to scrunch it down into just Spot of Friday. But I'm not going to go through all 100, well, I am going to go through all 100 songs, but I'm only going to talk to you about the best and the worst. All the in-between songs, which, frankly, is usually 90% of them. I'm just going to, they don't need to get mentioned anymore. Because what else am I gonna say? I can only say the song is mediocre so many different ways, and I'm running out of ways. So let's start off today. Let me see. Oh, let's go with a purple pen. Purple is nice. And Ciara, she has a new song with Esther Dean helping out called "Rooted" or "Rooted," depending on what part of the country you're from. All right, that's pretty good. I don't know. It's the Ciara song. It's no goodies, but. If you are. Up next, Chelsea Collins and Water Run Dry. This isn't too bad, although it looks like uh, circa two albums ago, Katy Perry did the fashion consulting for these two. It's a 24 karat golden helping out. Up next, brand new music from The Killers. What? Yeah, they have a new song. Okay. You claw at me. You claw at me to get up here and I put you up here. And you just want to get down. No, you're going to be in this video now. You are committed. It's the killers and dying breed. The killers have come out, at least Brandon Flowers has come out and said he's very excited about this song. And I can see why, because it's a really good song. It's, uh, yeah. Sounds like the song the killers have been wanting to make for a while. But haven't quite got right. But this one I think they did. This is great. Why did you fight to get up here? You clawed me in the leg, Kylan. You clawed me in the leg to get up here, and I put you up here, and you don't even want to stay up here. I'm not going to love you any less, though, because you're a cat. Up next, Patrick Droney in Glitter. It's a song about the Mariah Carey movie, I'm sure. It's not about the Mariah Carey movie, and it's not even much better. Up next, Smith and & Thel in Year of the Young, which these days is every year. I have a hunch about these two... Hang on, I am looking at their bio. They're about... Hmm... Hmm... Okay. I was a little concerned. This has a little, almost like a little kind of a country vibe to it. But I guess they're really big songwriters in Sweden. I was wondering that because the next artist is a country singer. I guess the next three songs are country songs of interesting ideas here. Let's up. Okay, this song is actually pretty good, so we'll give that a pretty good. Up next is Lindsay L. and Good On You. Ah, okay, we're doing this again. Again, I don't blame any female country singer for leaning into the pop or pop country because country radio is likely not going to play you, so you might as well you know, shoot for AC or Top 40 if they come knocking. And I could see that I could hear this song on a top 40 or AC station pretty easily. And the way she's dressed on the album cover tells me it seems more um, seems to be more pop or AC than country too. Up next, Kaylee Hammock with Ashley McBride, who you know she just does straight country. So I'm curious how this is going to sound. It's called Mean Something. I really thought this would sound better, but it's still kind of leaning a little more into the pop. And again, I don't... Okay, fine, you get down. I don't blame her for that. I thought with Ashley McBride and Tennille Towns coming along, it would be more actual country. It's just... <clears throat> I realize now, now that my decades-long ban on country music came to an end, that I don't mind country when it just says, you know what, I'm a country song. This trying to be country but also pop stuff just is not for me. Although there are exceptions, like Casey Musgraves. Mm, Casey Musgraves. Anyway, this one I've been looking forward to hearing. Orville Peck, the masked country and western singer, showing up for a new song with Shania Twain. 
called Legends Never Die. Wow, this is unabashedly country. And some of the lyrics with Shania Twain singing them are a little unusual. Never thought I'd hear Shania Twain singing the lyrics, Road hard and put away wet. So if nothing else, kudos to you for getting Shania Twain to say that. Up next, Earth Gang and Powered Up. The album cover they made looked like an old Nintendo cartridge. But the music is very memorable like a TurboGrafx-16. People who like it are going to love it, but most of us are going to be like, it's a TurboGrafx-16. Up next, YBN Namir and I Remember. Um, mediocre, but you get the maximizing streams notice because this song is only 211, so it wasn't long. Trey Song's up next with Circles. It's R&B. It's fine. You know, it's whatever. Tis what it is. It's okay. Up next, they and all mine. They. I'm minding my own business, listening, and all of a sudden, blushworthy lyrics. Up next, August <laughs> with the double A W G U S T. That's kind of funny. And Sophia Reyes and Never. This song's got a clever lyrical thing going on that will be unfortunately totally wasted by the radio edit. Up next, Youngblood with Denzel Curry and Lemonade. Eh, this song's pretty good, actually. The album cover is holding a lemon with a bunch of nails in it, which does not make le lemonade very well. Not that I'd know. Up next, Beginning of the End, the Wild Stallions edit from Weezer and the Bill and Ted Face the Music soundtrack. Boy, this sounds like end credits music if I ever heard it. It's really good. Up next, Biffy Clyro and Space. Biffy Clyro is one of those bands people probably think I like. I'm okay with them. I've never you know, been super nuts about them, but they're okay. <sighs> Much like this song. Up next, Ella Ear and Tell Me About It. It's pop. It's okay. Up next, Bryce Haas and Soak 20. This reminds me a lot of late 90s, early 2000s rap in a, in a very good way. Very good way. Next, Tokyo's Revenge and Irresponsible. Second time tonight, I gotta say, you're maximizing your streams, that's good. Because it's a very short song. But also, I'm glad it's a very short song because it's not that good. It's very mediocre. Up next, R.L. Grime and Out of Here. Not what I was expecting, but I really like it. It's pretty good. Hmm. It's very instrumentally. Up next, Jacob Collier and Sleeping on My Dreams. Ooh, this is a nice 80s, late 70s kind of funk groove to it. I approve. This is good. Up next, Johnny Lee and Andrea Valley and Gas. In terms of Gas, this song is running a bit low on it. It's kind of slow. Up next, Spencer Barnett and 48 Hours in Paris. Mm, it's okay. And like 48 hours in Paris, Texas. And finally, how about some 44 Phantom? Let's be friends. Mm. Having trouble finding words to even describe this song. Um, it's in 4-4 four, four time, I think. It's kind of singy, but also rap, and it's, I don't know, it's fine. It's just fine. We're just fine. All right, that's uh, Monday. Tune in for the final Spotify in its current format tomorrow.